off to a new year, new you. And we are just five days into 2022. You might already be starting or thinking about your New Year's resolutions. We spoke with a psychiatrist at Novant Health about the best ways to achieve and take a look at your goals this year. Our Rachel Ellis joins us live this morning to tell us what we've learned. Rachel, good morning. Audrey, good morning to you. Dr. Andrew Ferris says he's a strong believer in writing your goals down almost like a to do list. He says it's a good way to hold yourself accountable. Now, the Novon Health Psychiatrist says to keep New Year's resolutions realistic and to remember that a resolution doesn't need to stem from something negative in your life. Dr. Ferris says just because new goals are set each year doesn't mean you haven't already accomplished a lot and added that many things have been out of our control. While he says a little bit of self criticism is motivating, a a lot of it is going to drag you down and that is it needed. Just because we set new goals and new, uh, you know, goals for ourselves and accomplishments and things like that doesn't mean we've been wasting the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years of our lives. You know, uh, we have accomplished a lot and, and you've got to start from that platform that you're not starting from a negative position. You're starting from you're building on something positive. And I think that's a neat way uh, to think about it. And Dr. Farah also reminds everyone that some New Year's resolutions could take a whole lifetime to achieve, so it's not always easy to mark them um, as being checked off the box or accomplished each year. But for now, reporting live, Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News.